Hello, my name is Toby, and welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. So, today we're going to be showing how to make some basic events uh, to be used in puzzles. So, this is the cave we made last time. I've extended the cave to have another exit, and I've created a transition event to go into this room here, over here. This is uh, the event to go back. So what I want to do is create a simple rock pushing or boulder pushing tutorial. Uh, so I'm going to right click, click new event. I'm going to call this boulder. I'm going to double click on the graphic. So this is where we choose the graphic we want to use for the rock. So I'm just going to here we go on other one so we're going to choose one of these rocks um, I think a simple brown one will do click OK so now this is what the player will see when they walk up to the event we're going to have the priority as same as characters so your character cannot, cannot walk through it they will walk up to it and then we have the trigger as the action button so if you're playing on the keyboard walk up to it and press enter so that's all fine so in the content section we want to put down what we want the boulder to do so if we double click so any, when the action button is pressed this is what will happen so I'm going to find set move root this event leave it as that then move away from player or one step backwards I think move away from player is fine and click skip if cannot move because if you don't click that and the boulder gets stuck against a wall or another boulder the game will freeze unless you skip this because otherwise it, it tries to do this and because it can't complete it, it will get stuck. So now we've done that, we want to add a sound effect. So I'm going to go to play sound effect. Then I'm going to scroll down to Earth. Turn the volume down slightly. So now we're going to preview that that's not right so we're going to move on to the next one and we're going to keep playing them until we find one that sounds like a boulder moving here we go well, that sounds good to me so if I click OK on that so now when you press enter on the event the boulder will move one square away from the player whilst making this sound so then we'll click OK and then we'll close that by clicking OK. So now you can see the boulder has shown up over here and we can click it and drag it and place it wherever we want. So I want to duplicate this event so I can right click and click copy or as you see the shortcut will be Control C. So you can right click and paste or you can click on the left click on the area and click control V so I'm going to place these in a simple pattern so now when the player comes in they will see the rocks blocking their way so they will push the rocks down and to the right to create themselves a path to get across the bridge. So now we need to create an incentive to actually go across the bridge in the first place. So I'm going to right click quick event creation and click treasure chest. So this is the graphic again you can change it by double clicking and this is the contents of the treasure chest. So I'm going to put a weapon in there so I'm going to find a sword so these are all the 
default weapons that you are in the game system but you can edit these uh, change the names and the uh, attributes for all the weapons in the database that's something we'll go over later on so I'm just going to click short sword click OK so now if you right click the event click edit event we can see exactly how this event is made up so if you want to edit it you can just click on these right click edit and then you can see how the animation works and if you want to tweak it you can do that there. The most important thing to pay attention to is the text because you might it it can't um, the system can't tell when there's more of one item so you might have plural short swords was found um, or say you might have some fruit or vegetables in the box you might find that it will say carrots was found instead of were found uh, so or you might want to change it to you found some carrots whatever you want so I always like to pay attention to that also you might want to change the name of the event to treasure chest then we'll click OK or apply uh, page 2 is just the open treasure chest. The important thing about having a page 2 is uh, so that you can't keep opening the same chest over and over again. So when you press enter on the chest it will turn this self switch on. And self switches are basically a switch that can be turned on and it only affects the event that you're using normal switches can trigger other events um, make other things happen so when you when you are using events like this a self switch can be turned on and then page 2 the condition for this page to show up is that self switch A is on if this was unchecked then that wouldn't happen and you could just keep reopening the chest and get unlimited swords so we need to make sure that that is on and also that the graphic is the open treasure chest so I'll click OK there so that's um, a basic puzzle and treasure chest um, I'm just gonna see if I can test it now uh, I'll always remember to save So now we're on our field, go down into our cave, then we can push the rocks out of the way. And there we have the finished tutorial. I do apologise, that is very loud. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you'd like to see more, leave a like and a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.